Hey guys, today I'm going to do a nice smoky eye for you. So starting off, I'm going to use MAC Face and Body Foundation. And right now I think I'm about the color C4, maybe a little C5 mixed in. I'm probably like in between. So this foundation is kind of like a sheer to medium coverage. So if you need more than one coat, you can do that. I just kind of like how it gives a little bit of dewiness to the skin since it's starting to get a little bit colder, my skin's feeling a little drier, and I like having that little shine from the foundation. Okay, my brows have already been filled with Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette, so I'm gonna move right on to the eyes. Normally I would put an eyeshadow base down, like Urban Decay Primer Potion or the NARS Pro Prime if I'm doing a smokier look or a look that I want to last a long time without creasing. But today I'm going to use a, what are these, Color Tattoo, are they Maybelline? Yeah, they're Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows, which are like a cream that dry to a really long-lasting finish. They're kind of like a MAC paint pot would be, but they're drugstore, so they're great. And the color that I have is Audacious Asphalt, which is like a sparkly, cool gray. So to put that on, I'm going to grab a eyeshadow brush. Where's my brush? Okay, so I have the Real Techniques shadow brush. I'm just gonna pick up some product from the pot and work it onto the eye, starting all the way at the lashes. That's where you want the most concentration of color when you do a smoky eye. Whatever color it is, you want it to be darkest, as close to the lashes as you can, and then let it fade up as it moves towards the brow. So just push that product in all the way across the lid, starting close to your lashes, and then don't even reapply product to the brush as you work it up to the crease. Just drag what you already have a little bit higher than your lid. You can look straight into a mirror and do it so you can mark where your crease is. And just drag whatever's remaining on the brush up to that crease and let it fade out. And go back in and apply a second coat. Then taking a black eyeliner pencil, I have Bravi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil in Jet, which is just a deep black. And these pencils are great because they are really smooth going on, almost like a gel, and then you can blend them easily, but then they set, so they last. So I'm just gonna wiggle it across the upper lash line, just kind of make little dashes to get in between those lashes, nice and close. Then I'm going to take my favorite angle brush, my MAC 263, and get a little bit of the pencil onto the angle brush and use that to blend the line we created up. Now taking the black pencil again, going in the waterline on the lower rim and on the upper. Now just with a matte black eyeshadow, I happen to have a Stella palette on hand. I'm going to use the black eyeshadow in the Mind palette by Stella. So it's just matte black. You can use any black eyeshadow that you have on an angle brush. Just going to go over the line we created with the pencil and blend it up slightly so that it fades into that gray nicely.
I'm also taking the black eyeshadow along the lower lashes, just right at the root to kind of blend down that black waterline into the lower lashes. Okay, now that your liner is nice and dark, it's time to soften it and help diffuse it out to make it smokier. So just taking a small accent brush, I'm just running it along underneath my lashes, just kind of helping spread all that black out and diffuse it so it's less concentrated. And then taking it up and softening that outer corner with a blending brush. So just dragging that liner out so that it creates a little bit of a V shape and then dragging it back in. Softening all of those edges. And remember, we haven't done any of our concealing yet. So if you make a mess now, it's fine. We can clean anything up with makeup remover or a little bit of concealer if the fallout's not too bad. Then I just drag from the upper eyeliner out and back up into the crease. Making sure everything's soft and kind of flowing together, all meshing. And you can switch to a blending brush. I'm just going to move back to my first eyeshadow brush, which was the shading brush from Real Techniques, and pick up just a tiny bit of that black eyeshadow and tap it out on my hand. And I'm just going to stamp it up into the outer V part of my crease. I just want to create a little bit of extra depth there because I like to accentuate the outer corner of my eye to help create a little bit more length to my eyes. and then blend with my blending brush. So just taking a tiny bit of that black eyeshadow, stamping it right on that outer corner of my eye just to add a little depth and a little bit of length to the eye. So just get it nice and dark and then use your blending brush to soften the edges and kind of drag it out. Just give yourself a little bit of a soft wing. And at this point, remember we still haven't done our concealing, so we can go back and clean up any mistakes that we make. So if you go a little crazy here, it's okay. Smoky eyes are supposed to be a little bit messy. Okay, so eyes are nice and smoky and a little bit messy, so we're just going to clean up. I just have a little makeup remover and a Q-tip and I'm going to pick up any of that gray or black eyeshadow fallout because sometimes if you just try to clean it up with eyeshadow it'll just get really muddy and your under eyes will never get nice and bright so it's easier just to take it off actually if you just do your eye makeup first before you do your foundation at all even better but I started with foundation today by accident I got the under eyes nice and clean with makeup remover and I'm going to go ahead and do my concealing. Now at these steps it's a good time to kind of refine the shape. You can kind of clean up an edge and I kind of made it a little bit more of a sharp pointed V. Um, so do that with your makeup remover or a little bit with your concealer too. So this is just NARS Creamy Concealer. The color is medium one custard. And I'm just going to dot a little bit under each eye and blend out with a brush. Now 
This concealer looks a little bit maybe too light for me, so it's going to give us a little bit of a highlight too. So it's a little bit light for concealing the rest of my face for any blemishes and spots. So I'm just going to switch back to my MAC, what is this called? Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium. I always just want to say Studio Finish Concealer because that's what it is, just in palette form. And NARS Laguna Bronzer to Bronze. You're not going to believe this is the first time I actually ever bought this bronzer. I was always a loyal Physicians Formula Mosaic bronzer kind of girl. But this is the one that so many of my clients use and I just hear so much about. So finally, I bit the bullet, spent $39 and bought it. And it's nice. I like it. It's nice and warm. It's like almost more golden than the Physician's Formula, which is, I think, a little bit more um, of a reddish bronzer. And a coat of mascara. I have CoverGirl Lash Exact for a quick coat, and then I'm going to stick on some lashes. And on the bottom, I have today are Red Cherry number 600. I've been stocking these in my kit lately and I like them. They flatter a lot of eye shapes. Um, good for weddings. They're not too dramatic, but they give you that little extra pop. So if I'm doing your makeup, ask if I have them and hopefully you can try them. While lashes dry, we'll move on to lips. I have Revlon Pink Cognito, which is number 820, and it's like a shiny nude. And then to finish with cheeks, I don't want to have too much color, but I want a little bit of a natural flush. So I figured since we went with NARS Laguna Bronzer, why not go with classic NARS Orgasm Blush? Both are their kind of signature products. And now that lashes are dry and everything's almost finished, I just want to go back in the eyes and touch up and deepen anything um, that needs it now that I have the lashes on and I can kind of see where I want a little bit more shading. So just on a small accent brush, I'm just going to grab a little bit of that black eyeshadow. And touch up that corner right there. And use my blending brush to go all the way under and all the way out. Here's our finished gray black smoky eye look. I hope you guys like this one. I always get requests for a classic smoky eye when I'm doing makeup for special events and weddings and things. So it's definitely a popular classic look that you should give a try. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.